New symbol appearing on Russian military equipment. A new tactical symbol appearing on Russian tanks and armored vehicles involved in the ongoing offensive near Kharkiv, Ukraine, suggests a significant scale up in Russia's military activities, according to the open source intelligence monitor OSINT Defender. According to Newsweek, the previously unseen symbol consists of a central square with two overlapping diagonal crosses. This marking has started to appear on Russian equipment over the last several days. OSINT Defender reports that the new symbol could be related to Russia's renewed border offensive in northeast Ukraine. Russian armored assault groups are attempting to breach Ukrainian defenses, particularly around Vovchansk, where Russian forces have been spotted entering the border town. In conflict zones, symbols like this primarily serve as identification friend or foe measures a way to prevent friendly fire. The most prominent marking has been the Z that appeared on many Russian armored vehicles early after the invasion in 2022 and went on to become something of a symbol for Russians to show support for the war effort. Markings are crucial in combat to distinguish between friendly and enemy vehicles, especially in conflicts like the one in Ukraine where both sides might use similar equipment, said Michael Purcell, a retired US Marine Lieutenant Colonel who now teaches at George Washington University. The Russian military introduced district symbols on its armored vehicles shortly before the 2022 invasion. According to Russo-Ukrainian War Spotting, a database website of the conflict run by volunteers, each Russian military district, along with Russia-aligned militia in Donbass, has been assigned distinct signs. The website has tracked more than 10 different symbols used by the Russian army on the battlefield, including the white Z. There have been cases where some Russian vehicles bore signs of districts they don't belong to. Adaptations to markings may be made to improve clarity and effectiveness, including considerations for drone visibility. But in this case, it seems that the implementation has never been particularly meticulous, Purcell told Newsweek. Ukraine and Russia may freeze the war according to the Korean scenario. Joe Biden's administration is increasingly concerned that Vladimir Putin is gaining enough power to change the trajectory of the war and perhaps turn back the once bleak outlook. Both sides can finally move to a negotiated ceasefire and freeze the war according to the Korean scenario, writes the New York Times, citing Western officials interviewed on condition of anonymity. There is a growing understanding within the Biden administration that the next few months could prove decisive as at some point both sides may finally move to a negotiated ceasefire, a truce similar to the one that ended active hostilities in Korea in 1953 or simply to a frozen conflict, the authors write. It is noted that Russian troops have launched a new offensive near the country's second largest city, Kharkiv, forcing Ukraine to divert its already exhausted troops to defend the territory. And a months-long debate in Washington over whether to provide Ukraine with an arms and ammunition package created a gap that Russia clearly took advantage of. According to journalists, American officials express confidence that many of these Russian gains can be reversed once the flow of new weapons is fully opened, most likely sometime in July. But they are hesitant to predict where the fighting will take place in a few months or even years. U.S. officials say President Joe Biden continues to reject a suggestion from French President Emmanuel Macron that a Western troop deployment to Ukraine may be necessary. Privately, some of President Biden's aides fear that just as the United States learned key lessons from the war about technologies that work and those that don't, so too has Putin. 
And what worries them most is that as Russia replaces weapons destroyed in the first 27 months of the war, Putin could regain his position just as Biden prepares to meet his closest allies at the Group of Seven meeting in Italy next month. It is unclear whether Biden will be able to repeat the claim, which he made in Finland last summer, that Putin has already lost this war. The publication writes, Some veterans of Putin's serial confrontations are not surprised by this turn of events. Stephen Hadley, national security advisor to President George W. Bush, noted that Russia often starts its wars bad and ends strong. Numerous factors are helping the Russian military advance. Due to the delay in American funding, Russia was able to achieve enormous artillery superiority over Ukraine. The lack of air defense ammunition has also allowed the Russian Federation to use its air power with greater impunity.